today I'm actually inside the house and I'm going to show you my seed order you might be able to tell I'm not feeling very well today um, I've got a little feeling a bit under the weather feeling a bit tired after last night so here we go let's open it up Ooh. ok so straight away we have an advert for the kitchen garden magazine I haven't actually subscribed but I've heard it's uh, quite good so I'll definitely check that out ok so here we have I think yes this is what I've been waiting for the king's seed catalogue this is their early spring catalogue and as you can see it doesn't have any garden accessories in it all plants and seeds so also in here you will receive an order form well an order form an order confirmation with all the seeds that you purchased and uh, when you purchase them etc that's empty ok so on to the seeds we have marigold sunset giant giants mixed so when to sow late february to april and then where to sow uh, in pots or trays in the greenhouse at 16 to 18 degrees C so that's quite a low temperature one here we have courgettes so you sow these April to June harvest July to October and they provide a good source of vitamin A, C and D and this is one of my favourite plants Cineraria silver dust so you sow these January to April, so I'll sow these now, and they flower June onwards. Um, sowing pots or trays in a good compost under glass at 16 degrees, then lightly cover the, uh, lightly cover the surface with sieved compost. Now this, I've found this uh, tomato variety and I'm really impressed. It's an old English variety, I believe. Uh, does it actually say? Online, it did tell you um, that it was an old English variety, so I purchased it. It's an early and heavy cropping variety. So you sow this January to April, and you harvest July to October. Also, oh, and it's a good source of vitamin C and lycopene so uh, sweet pepper Dianste Gialo I believe that's right uh, it's got a sweet mild flavour and you sow this February to April and you harvest late July to October and it's a good source of vitamin C and beta carotene Uh, these want to be so uh, sow the seeds on the surface of a free draining compost in pots or trays and then cover with a fine sprinkling of compost or vermiculite so I use a vermiculite type thing it's like a seed crumb uh, and then place at 18 to 21 degrees until the seed starts to germinate interesting okay so here we have lettuce salad bowl easy to pick as leaves uh sorry easy to pick leaves is required and you sow this one february to july so i could sow this now next month or the month after uh harvest 10 to 12 weeks from sowing a good source of uh, vitamins k and c uh, and beta carotene and also uh lutein i believe lutein yeah uh this one has to be sowed under glass at 15 to 20 degrees C and they likely cover the seeds with a sprinkling of vermiculite or compost okay so here we have uh, sunflower helianthus bambino large blooms on dwarf plants I really like this variety so you sow this April to May 
the flowers July to August. You can sow this. Uh, so Sunflower Bambino has beautiful lemon flowers with a dark centre. Uh, they're ideal cut flowers and can be grown in pots, containers or borders. Like I said, they're considerably smaller. Not the flowers, the actual plants. And they're really nice. We've had problems with the big tall ones that actually, once they get too tall, they actually, with the wind, they snap. Um, so that can be a serious issue, especially if you're growing loads. You've got to know your climate, know where you're growing, know is it a windy spot. And if so, where the prevailing wind is, if that makes sense, so where, um, which direction the wind mostly blows in. So we get an easterly wind here. So this is uh, Sweet Corn Early Bird F1. And you sow this April to May. You harvest August to September. It's a good source of vitamins A, B and C and also fibre. A breakthrough in early, high-quality, super-sweet sweet corns, recorded as the earliest cropping in Europe. Sweet and tasty, containing many rows of kernels per cob. Full to the tip. King say, an excellent source of vitamins A, B, C. Um, it's also gluten-free, I mean, <laughs> with a supply of, uh, with a good supply of di dietary fibre and protein. Okay, so here we have Marigold Spanish Brocade, and you sow this one February to April. It flowers June onwards, and this one, I think similar to the one, oh no, 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 no. Okay, so sow the seeds on the surface of lightly firmed moist seed compost in pots or trays, and cover with a fine sprinkling of seed compost or vermiculite. Uh, keep the temperature between 21 and 25 degrees Celsius. So a lot hotter than the other variety that we looked at. Cabbage Tundra F1. Uh, so April to June, harvest November to March. So this is a fairly, this one is a plant that you will have around your uh, garden or your nursery for quite a while before you can sell it or before you can plant out and eat it. So a highly versatile variety producing uniform mid-green leaved uh, crops over a long period with excellent flavour and winter hardiness. I will add it says um, extremely, no sorry, very frost hardy and it's a good source of vitamins A, B and C. Sowings can be made in trays or modules under glass at 13 degrees C. Later sowings can be made uh, in a seed bed in shallow drills two centimetres deep um, in short rows. Wonderful. Oh, I fell down. Right, here we have Petunia, Petunia Cascade Mixed F1. Now, with the, petunia, with the Petunias, I couldn't find a single variety that wasn't an F1. A hybrid variety, so that's kind of annoying. I tried to go for non hybrids, but sometimes you just have to. And with kings, they grow all the seeds themselves on their own farm, so you don't have to. So it's not been grown in the Middle East or anywhere like that where the climate isn't is less favourable. So it's it's costing more to produce, which means the seeds will be more expensive, and also it's bad for the planet to import seed when we can grow them over here. Okay, so Petunia Cascade, you sow this February to March and it flowers late June onwards. Um, the same as the others, this one you want to make sure it's a temperature of 25, 20 to 20, with 20 to 25 degrees C. This is a really nice uh, variety, Sunflower Helianthus Red Sun. Sow this April to May, and it flowers July to September. Um, sow thinly, 12 millimetres in deep drilled, 45 centimetres apart, in well cultivated soil, raked to a fine tilth. Germination usually takes 15 to 21 days. So you can sow this while outdoors if you're going to plant it in May, which is ideal really, so it doesn't take up too much greenhouse space. Delphinium! 
Pacific Giant Mix. So February to June or September to October. So this is the ones that you can sow in autumn should you wish and then over winter. Uh, sow seeds on the surface of lightly firmed moist seed compost or seed trays. Cover with a fine sprinkling of compost or vermiculite. Place at a temperature between 10 to 15 degrees. After sowing, do not exclude light as this helps germination, which can take 21 to 40 days. So you could be waiting a long time for these to germinate, but that's fine because Kings. I've never had a seed from Kings, a, a full seed packet from Kings not germinate, if that makes sense. Just completely not happen. Right, nice big pack of runner beans. This is the Scarlet Emperor variety, and this is the gardener's favourite. So, so April to June, and harvest July to September. These are runner beans, I think I mentioned that. And harvest July to September. This, is, this provides a good source, vitamin C, folic acid, iron and fibre. An old favourite, earlier cropping and slightly shorter growing than many others. Long pods of a slightly rough texture, but outstanding flavour. And this one can be sowed directly outside. And early sowings can be made on the glass at 16 degrees C. There we go. I just wanted to quickly mention King Seeds and how I couldn't recommend this company enough. It's a really fantastic company. I've never had a full packet of seeds not germinate from them. So I really recommend them. Also on the basis of the environment and the planet and helping reduce our impact on the planet as horticulturalists. By buying King Seeds, you know that they're produced in the UK. And when I mention food miles, I'm not just talking about, okay, this carrot's been grown in Cambridgeshire, and we come and eat it in Devon. No, I'm talking about the fact that where the seed has come from, and that tends to be the Middle East. They have a big seed-growing nurseries down there where they literally grow carrots just for the seed. They don't bother with the actual crop itself. And when that's good, because that will produce a standardisation in food, you know that when you buy a packet of Moneymaker, they're all going to be up to that standard. They're all going to be that size and they're all going to be that plant. However, that causes problems with excessive food miles and unnecessary food miles in which that they don't have to it doesn't have to be like this so we can grow them in the uk but for some of these big seed companies it is cheaper to just import them so if you can please look into king seeds um it would be something that is really important in the future because what we do as consumers and as buyers will have an effect on the wider planet thank you very much for watching see you later and remember, please stay healthy during these uncertain times. See you later. Bye for now.